how to recover from a cyber attack. It's all too easy to overlook the damage that cyber attacks and data breaches cause, but the consequences can be far more expensive than you bargain for. According to IBM's 2022 cost of a data breach study, organizations could spend £3.6 million or more recovering from a security incident, and without appropriate processes in place, that figure could be much higher. This is why experts recommend a defense in depth approach to cybersecurity, which provides the layered defenses you need to mitigate the risks of cyber attacks and data breaches. If one of those defensive layers is breached, the others work to contain the damage and ensure you can return to normal operations as quickly and efficiently as possible. The fifth layer of IT governance's cyber defense in depth framework is recovery. When all other lines of defense fail, you need to ensure your organization can survive. More often than not, you'll be able to restore enough critical services to be able to continue functioning, but it can take months to fully return to business as usual. In the meantime, you need a plan for how you'll manage, plus you need appropriate resources to implement those plans. For a start, you need business continuity and disaster recovery plans. Business continuity is about ensuring that your organization continues to operate in the event of disruption. It's a way of temporarily addressing a problem until you're able to address the underlying issue. Meanwhile, disaster recovery is the process of resolving the disruption. At its most basic level, it involves identifying the source of the incident and finding a way to fix it. The plans are usually very technical and focus on specific deadlines that must be met to prevent catastrophic damage. They'll include things such as recovery time objectives, which are estimates of how long it'll take for a product, service or activity to become available following an incident. Comprehensive documentation ensures that the organization is prepared for whatever happens, but implementing these plans can be expensive. This is where cyber insurance helps. Policies provide organizations with the means to implement incident response measures such as forensic investigation, legal assistance and public relations support. These activities aren't typically included in standard business insurance policies, which usually only cover costs related to technical issues such as corrupted hard drives and lost devices. If you want to learn more about recovering from cyber risks or defense in depth, IT Governance is here to help. Get in touch today to find out how we can help you secure your organization's success.